Hey fourth graders, so yesterday we learned about how to figure out different shapes that have the same area in a different perimeter. Today we're going to look at the opposite, same perimeter but a different area. So it's the same kind of an idea, but again we want to think carefully about the perimeter formula. Today we're going to focus more on the perimeter formula than the area formula. So remember the perimeter is equal to the length plus the length plus the width plus the width. So now we're wanting to think what are different ways we can add to get a certain number versus multiplying to get a certain number. And it's also incredibly important that we remember with rectangles, the, both of the lengths are the same, both of the widths are the same. So this one's a little bit trickier because of that, but you can still do it, okay? So let's take a look really quickly and figure out, it says Kai drew a rectangle below. What are other rectangles that have the same perimeter but different areas? What is the perimeter? Well, it's two units here, that's the width, and four units here, two units here, four units here. So two plus four plus two plus four equals, well, two plus four is six, and I'm doubling that, so that would be 12. So what are different ways that I can add to get 12? All right, one strategy that you could use would be to take 12, take your perimeter, and divide it by two. And then think, how can you add to get that shape? Because remember, you're really doubling the same thing, right? I know that two plus four equals six. Six is half of 12. So 12 divided by two is equal to six. What are ways I can add to get six? Because that's gonna give me my length plus my width, right? What are ways I can add to get six? Well, here is six, or sorry, it's not six, it's five plus one. One, two, three, four, five. Five plus one is six. Five plus one is six. Six plus six is 12. Right here I have one, two, three, four plus two. Two plus four is six. Two plus four is six. Six plus six is 12. Here I have three plus three. Three plus three is six. Three plus three is six. Six plus six is 12 right? That equals six, that equals six. Do you guys see what I'm doing? Right here I have five plus one. Five plus one is six. Five plus one is six. Six plus six is 12. So all of those have a perimeter of 12, but when I multiply them, I get different areas, right? Five times one equals five. So this only has an area of five. This one is four times two. It has an area of eight. This one's three times three. It has an area of nine. Okay, and this one's five times one, which has an area of five. Okay, and you can see that down in the chart down here, but that is how I would recommend doing the perimeter. You're gonna figure out what the perimeter is. You're gonna take that number and divide it by two, and then think, what are the different ways I add to get that? All right, let's try some. All right, down here we have an example of a rectangle below. It says, draw a rectangle that has the same perimeter but different lengths. Well, what is the perimeter? It's three, one, two, three, four, five, plus five, plus three, plus five. The perimeter is equal to eight plus eight, which is 16, right? So I don't even have to necessarily divide it by two, right? I just think, what did two of the sides add together? They equaled eight. Those two added together to equal eight. So I wanna be able to figure out something where we can do the same thing. What are different ways I can add together to get eight? Well, I could do four plus four, that equals eight. I could do, um, I already have five plus three. I could do um, two plus six, or I could do one plus, oops, one plus seven, all right? I could do any of those. I'm gonna choose to do four by times four, or sorry, four plus four. All right, so I'm drawing it as a side, four, 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 
plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 equals 16. All right? And now this question is very similar to what we were asked for below, or before, yesterday. Is my area the same, greater than, or less than the area of this one? On the rectangle that they gave, the area is 5 times 3, which equals 15. Mine, the area is 4 times 4, which equals 16. My area is greater, right? My area was greater than the area that they gave. Let's try another one. All right. I want to find a same perimeter, different area for a shape that has a length of 10 and a width of 2. A length of 10 and a width of 2. Actually, wait, we already did that one. All right, a length of 10 and a width of 4. Let's do that. A length of 10 and a width of 4. So that means that this side would also have 10 and this side would also have 4. So 14 plus 14, my perimeter equals 10 plus 4 plus 10 plus 4, which equals 28 right? Half of that would just be a 10 plus 4, which is 14. So what are ways I can add to get 14? I can do 1 plus 13. I can do 2 plus 12. I can do 3 plus 11. I can do, I already have 4 plus 10. I can do um, 5 plus 9, 6 plus 8, 7 plus 7. I could do any of these and I'm going to get a perimeter of 14, right? And if I drew them out, right, 1 and 13, that would be 1, or sorry, 13 and 1, right? It's going to be something like this. All of these add together to equal 28. So they all have the same perimeter. But do they have the same area? Well, if I am doing area, I'm multiplying them. 1 times 13 is equal to 13. So that one would have an area of 13. 2 times 12 equals 24. That one has an area of 24. 3 times 11 would have an area of 33. My shape has an area of 40. So do they all have a different area? They do, and if you kept multiplying, you would figure that out, okay? So why am I only adding two sides again? Well, because the two sides are the same, right? So I'm making it easier on myself. The length and the width are the same. If I wanted to think what is, what are different ways where I can add two of the same numbers plus two of the same numbers to get 28, that would get really confusing. So what I did was I split my rectangle in half because the two halves are the same, okay? I know that half has to equal 14, so the other half also has to equal 14, and if I do it that way, it makes it really easy to figure out the different options for your perimeter, okay? So remember, when you're figuring out same area, different perimeter, you're gonna use your factors, when you're figuring out same perimeter, different area, you're going to split your perimeter in half and think of ways to add to get that number because the perimeter formula is addition, the area formula is multiplication. That's the difference, okay? Good luck. Rewatch these last two videos if you need to. I know it's a little bit of a weird thing to think about, but there are definitely situations where you might need to use this. For example, let's say you bought fencing that is a certain distance around and you want to figure out well what would be the biggest area of a garden I could make. Let's say you bought 28 feet of fencing and you want to make the biggest garden possible. Well if you make this garden it's only 13 square feet but if you make this garden a 7 by 7 square you would actually get 49 square feet. That's way bigger. That's a way bigger garden. Okay so that's one application of that or maybe you're making a mosaic where you're using little tiles 
all right, like in the bathroom or something like that, and you have a certain amount to cover a certain amount of area, but you want to figure out how to arrange it so that it has the biggest perimeter or the smallest perimeter. That would be another application for where you could use this. This is actually something that you would use quite a bit. It's something that's kind of weird to think about and learn, but it is something that is pretty highly used. So I want you to practice it. Remember, the formulas are going to help you. Area, if it has the same area, you're going to use your factors. If it has the same perimeter, you're going to use addition. Split it in half and add. Okay? You've got it. If you need to rewatch the videos, rewatch them, and I will see you guys in the next video for our review for our geometry unit. Bye, guys.